I want our tablets, our simplest device, to be our most powerful device. Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. The goal of Tablet Pro is to make your stylus and your tablet fully functional. So you can do everything that you would do at a desktop, everything that you would do at a workstation with a keyboard and mouse, with all of your different tools that you're used to using. Our goal here is to make the tablet, touchscreen, and stylus more than enough to do everything that you're trying to do. So let's go ahead and jump into a couple use cases. Tablet Pro Studio has a number of different tools that will really help you achieve this. I'm gonna talk about just four of those today. The first one is here on the left. This is the touch panel called the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro. This has keyboard shortcuts. It has buttons that click locations on the screen so you can toggle between different pens or tools without having to move your dominant hand. So here we can write and change color easily. We can select it and delete it. Now the use case for this is if you have your tablet on your lap or on a desk, you have both hands available to touch the screen. So I'm going to demonstrate a quick use case here. So let's say you're in OneNote, you're in a lecture, you're trying to copy something over from a web page. So we're going to jump to a web page, we're going to take a screenshot, we're going to take a couple quick notes, and we're going to draw an arrow on it so, uh, to a certain spot on the screen. Let's jump over to our web browser. We're going to select this image right here. We're going to jump back over to OneNote and let's paste it. Good. Okay, let's press the enter key so that we're down just a little bit and we're going to describe this image that is showing some different types of toolbars. Okay, now that's in the wrong spot, so we're going to select it and move it over underneath. All right, this looks pretty good. We're gonna go back to our selection tool, hit enter a couple times, and we're gonna add another line of text. Add a period, we're going to select were, we're gonna capitalize it, although that did kind of a funky job here, and we're gonna do the same thing for and. Let's switch to a colored pencil. We're going to circle this right here, draw an arrow to it, and now we're done. Now, if we had done this using just touch, any other method, it's pretty slow. So there's a, a lot that can be done here quickly. Okay, let's look at our next tool. This tool is best used when you're trying to keep your hand in the center of the screen. So you're using either one hand to hold the tablet like this, and the other one is writing on the screen, you want as much real estate as possible. So we're gonna quickly create a radio menu based off of this artist pad right here. So we're gonna click here on the gears. We're gonna choose add buttons to Docker. We're gonna choose continuous. And we're going to just select these buttons right over here. All right, and now we're gonna choose update to radio menu. So let's open up that radio menu we just created. You can see we've got all of our actions right here. Easily accessible. Let's say one of them is clicking in the wrong spot. We can double click quickly. And let's choose our highlighter and drag over here. Apply and update the radio menu. Okay, so now when we click here, you notice it switches to the highlighter. Now let me show you our next tool, that is the voice commands. So we're going to say something right here. We're going to select it, copy, paste, undo,
email. Enter. Website. Okay, so now we don't have that one set up correctly, so we're going to do this again. Say I want to have my website open when I say the word website. So we write the word website. Action to perform. We are not going to send a key. We're going to open a site. I'm going to type the web address right here. We can actually do that with our voice. So let's do that. www.tabletpro.com Okay, add to list. Good enough. Website. Let's say we want to open up an application. Now, right now, I'm using the radio menu to open up voice commands. Actually, what we can do is we can assign it to another button. So let's open up here. We have invert set to right click. Let's go ahead and change this to voice commands. All right, so I'm going to press the invert button. Notepad. And that doesn't do anything, so let's make that do something. Let's add an application here. So we're going to choose Notepad. Here in the Options, we're going to choose Execute App. Let's find Notepad, Notepad EXE, Add to List, and Close. Notepad. And there we have Notepad opening up for us. No problem, really easy. Now, if you're in a situation where you don't want to talk and you would rather just write something, what you can do is click on this little option here. This is going to mute the Cortana and it'll bring up the touch handwriting panel. If you don't see it, choose handwriting. And what we're gonna do is we're going to write the word email. Click enter. And you can see the email has been written out for us. This is really great if there's long strings or text that you're trying to uh, do, but you don't have a keyboard available. So you have a lot more controls this way. Right, let's go ahead and look at the last option here. This one, I'm going to right click here and choose full screen mode. I'm gonna put my finger here on the right side of the screen. I'm gonna move the mouse pointer around the screen, you can see that I can access menus like File, Home. All of these things are very easy to hit and execute. You can select text and perform gestures. This gives you full control of all sorts of different things you would do with a mouse. If I want to right click, I can tap with two fingers. You can have custom gestures so that you can copy or paste with three fingers pinching in, open the touch keyboard, Cortana, uh, voice command, or any of those other tools that we have available for you. I want our tablets, our simplest device, to be our most powerful device. If this is something that you believe in that you want, subscribe to this channel, join us on Discord, and purchase the app and start enjoying it yourself. All right, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.